the first person to challenge me gets a game. Or the first bot to challenge me. <laughs> Welcome back, James Black. Okay. Playing Nick Nico 42 Royal. Here we go. Um Gotta at least offer a Stafford. We'll see what happens so here. To see Ding win. He was the one I was rooting for. Smile. Yeah, yeah, it's um I think he's a deserving champion. And he was the only player ever in World Championship history to play the London. Thanks for the content, Eric. Thank you, Casey. Also, thank you, Bicycle. Welcome back. H3. Hi. I think I'll, I'll take the pawn. Normally, white should play knight c3 and then only later play h3. But, uh, okay, so I guess we, we traded pawns. I'm super curious. Can I get away with knight f2? King f2, queen d4. I mean, ah, but there's queen e2 check. Knight f2, queen e2 would kind of ruin my fun. Okay, I'll, I'll be extra solid here. Thank you to Shasta. Happy two months. So we have a position here with equal material. No more knights on the board. The pawn structure is a little bit asymmetrical. White has the only center pawn. But I like my bishops. This bishop doesn't have a, a great developing square. Whoa, it's Shasta with 5,000 bits. Out of nowhere, thanks so much. That's huge. I appreciate the energy. Yeah, this is a later time than usual for me to be streaming. Um, I might get sleepy uh, earlier than normal, but okay, it's good to be live. Um, I only have two viewer, two challenges? This is this right? If people want to challenge me, use the challenge command. What did I think of the tie breaks? I'll be completely honest. I really tried to stay awake until the end of the match. I fell asleep in the final game. Like midway through the final game, I just kind of dozed off. And then I woke up to seeing Ding winning with Black. But the first game of the tie breaks was incredible. Like the oh no, my queen moment. Some really high quality chess. Yeah, it was hard to watch the matches live just because uh, um, the time difference. All right, so I want to play bishop d5 here, but queen g4. I don't really want to trade queens. So I'm thinking h5 first, but then white has this move c4. So I'm trying to figure out what to do. Maybe I do induce a queen trade take and then play very positionally like pawn b5 it's a safe approach i did rewatch the commentary from game four it was very dramatic it was funny to see the commentators just assume the game would be drawn and then ding playing rook g6 welcome back to cool grapes All right, so I'm going to take the queen and play pawn b5. And this is like a very, very positional Stafford gambit. Like, no more queens, no more horsies. We both have the bishop pair. This looks like a free pawn. 
smells like a free pawn, tastes like a free pawn. I mean, white can go back and get the half open a file. It's like we might see rook a1, bishop d5, rook a6. We'll see what happens. I don't understand your reasoning for playing positionally here. Doesn't seem like your position is that great. Yeah, I mean, out of the opening, it was very close to equal. Um, it was hard to generate tactics, though. White's position was very solid. And when I say... Um, when I say the phrase playing positionally, it usually refers to trying to build up like small advantages. Um, like out of the opening, it was a matter of trying to put my pieces on good squares. And then it was a matter of trying to get a better structure. And now that I've won a pawn, it's about just expanding on the queen side. Um, I think I'll allow the bishop trade and maybe fix the structure. So up a pawn, um, we'll start with f6. With light squared bishops, the pawns probably prefer to be on dark squares. Can I bribe Eric to play an exchange Roy? I could play an exchange Roy. A good game to Nico or Nico. Um, yeah, we can briefly analyze. But generally, yeah, h3, it's a very common move against a staffer to prevent knight g4. But first, you have to prevent knight takes e4. So knight c3, bishop c5, h3 is one of the more annoying lines for black. Um, but if we go to what happened in the game, yeah, I think it was very close to equal. Bishop d3 was a good move. So I, I wanted to keep some attacking potential. Bishop b2 had interesting intentions to play this and this, but I, like white never got the chance. After bishop d5. Yeah, I was trying to discourage c4. This was interesting, though. White could, white could have moved back and then played rook a6 and then probably won the pawn. Anyway, um, let's move on. My one mistake was playing... Oh, it was playing f6. I thought it would be playing the Stafford Gambit. I guess it, it counts the Stafford as like an opening and doesn't factor it into the, the accuracy. <laughs> Why was f6 a mistake? Oh, it just likes pushing the pawn. Okay, not a huge, huge deal there. Okay, so I have 16 pending challenges. Um, most people are challenging me, me to 3-2. Three, 3-2 two. Three, two are faster, so 3-0 oh is fine. Um, don't challenge me to infinite time control. And that's from an anonymous account. Yeah, a few, of, a few anonymous accounts. It helps to like have an account on WeChess. It's free to make. Okay, random challenge. Playing Manitoba Mark. I recognize that name. We've played once before. We'll play E4. Let's play a two knights attack. I played this recently. Ooh, E6, B6 is playable. Almost two years. D hi, Eric. Hey, it's Arun. Welcome back. Happy two years. Or happy almost two years. I'll admit I've never studied this exact position. Because usually, like, I have this position, but down a tempo, like, from the black side. To a bishop here, pawn here is a line. So I think I'll play pawn here immediately. Which maybe objectively isn't the best move, but it's preparing for bishop b4, and then I play a3. 97, I'll play d4. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think there's a Gotham course. E6, B6. It's an interesting setup. Um, now it's kind of transposing into some French type thing. Um, there's a small trick here. I'm going to start with bishop g5. This move sets up a kind of nasty trick. Are we going to see g5? g5 or c5? I feel like a pawn move is coming. Yeah, I'll try and mix up the openings today. Maybe take some opening suggestions. Okay, knight c6. It unleashes a bishop, but it blocks a pawn. I think I'll play a3 here. It's a very simple preventive move. Bishop a6. It's actually logical. Like trying to trade off my good bishop for the bad bishop. Let's go ahead and take. Because that way I misplaced the knight. And maybe now I can start doing things on the king's side. When do you think delaying castling is good? Well, in this case, this is a prime example when the rook actually has some purpose on the h-file. Sometimes when you start pushing your h-pawn, you don't want to castle um, and move the rook away from a good position. Okay, here... I'll start by taking... And now there's some issues for black. Oh, but the queen defends a rook. I was thinking takes and there's a pin. I could still take and win the pawn. But it's interesting. I also have this move, queen e2, which I think I'll go for. Abandoning this pawn, but I'm hitting the knight. So if takes, 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 I take. I'm also hitting e6. Okay, black, uh, I think, missed the threat. And now, no mercy. King d7. All right, I'll go into to b7. Fiend cattoing the queen in black's territory. Um, simple threat, queen c7. Maybe bishop e5 coming. Yeah, that was the only legal move. I think I'll take first. And then bishop e5. And it's hard for the queen to stir up any counterplay, controlling a lot of the key squares. And I'm going to be winning more material here. Eric, I'm three hours through your 12 hour autumn marathon. Oh, wow. I'm actually planning to post the spring marathon uh, sometime this week. It just requires timestamping every game. But uh, I have all the timestamps. I just need to ensure it's below the YouTube description character limit. And it's going to be a nearly 12-hour video. So a lot of chess content to come. Mm. 
We should have six. What mug are you sporting today? Uh, this is um, a Starbucks mug from Dallas. Sent to me by Brad. It's one of the biggest mugs I own. Okay, this position still requires patience. Maybe a little bit more simplification. Will there be random potatoes? I actually don't know. I have no idea how many potatoes are hidden in the, the marathon video. Maybe anyone who watches on will uh, stumble upon a few. I'm drinking a uh, jasmine green tea. It's a nice choice. Helps me keep calm. Yeah, the go live notification, it was meant to be like um an interjection, like ding ding ding. But also, it's a new world champion. Hey, it's a fancy mate. Sharma asking, can you do a knight bishop mate? I can do a knight bishop rook mate, along with the pawn and king. <laughs> Good game to mark. Um, I, I'll explain the, the tricky trap that I set up. Because... Uh, I thought it was instructive. Wow, Bach was actually doing fine out of the opening. So g5 and then c5. And I don't have c3, and this is actually a nice way to break down white's pawn center. But yeah, knight c6 uh, kind of prevented this from happening. Thank you, Sema Juan Twitch. The first time sub. So my initial plan was if black plays c5 here, then there's a very strong move knight b5. And because I'm pinning the knight, black can't really move the knight, and knight d6 is guaranteed to come. And black would like to play knight f5 and uh, prevent knight d6. But this would be big trouble. Like h6, I still check, and black's position would crumble. G -r 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 -r. Welcome back to Evil Sloth and Healy. What's the best way to break out of a plateau of 1,400? Mm. There's a lot of things you can do. Um, I mean, doing like regular tactics, analyzing your games having a growth mindset where you, you're just focusing on, on learning something from every game that you play, reviewing high-level games. At that level, usually you'll have like some clear weaknesses. Like there's some 1400s who are like decent tactically, but maybe struggle positionally or vice versa. So part of improving a chess, not just at that level, but any level is having self-awareness and understanding like what your weak areas are and then trying to make your weak areas like your strong areas if if you can turn your weakness into a strength then that's uh that's a big way to get better not just chess but any area of life thank you bobby costas and sometimes if you're plateaued like it, it helps to go outside your comfort zone. Like maybe experiment with new openings or new styles of play. And um, yeah, play to learn. So I'm kind of just randomly taking challenges. Um, the best approach is to just patiently wait for a game. Because um, I, I have 25 pending challenges. So I'm just continually accepting random people. Or non-random people. Obese Reese. Who 
the last time we played, we had a really hard fought game. It was our first ever draw. But is obesity here? I'll give a little bit extra time to Reese. Um, but not too much extra time. Set a timer for never mind. Okay, we have knight of three. I was requesting three two challenges, but I'll make an exception here. Was knight of three played last time? I'm trying to remember the opening of the previous game. I think we played the Scandi last time. So B3 says oops. Also, what is this opening? It's kind of like a Verisov. I'll play Reverse London. The Knight on C3 is arguably a little bit misplaced. Because usually White likes to have the pawn on C4. Steve Boger, been learning Stafford Gambit and been winning against 1900 plus. Nice to hear. And keep it up. Wait, prime number chess. Oops. Wait, did you, oh, do you want to play prime number chess? <laughs> I forget what what exactly is the rules for that. I didn't see the message until like after the first what three or four moves. Now I kind of feel bad. I think prime number chess is where you can only move pawns on like prime number moves. So maybe next game we can uh, we can give it a try. So I've conceded the bishop pair, but the idea is to uh, play very positioning on the queen side. Idea queen a5, knight d7, rook c8, etc., etc. Welcome back to a1, 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 etc. Yeah, I want to get the rook to c8, queen to a5, castling, maybe throw an a6. A lot of natural moves here. In Rosen, let's go. Welcome back, Mark Malcolm Reynolds. Happy 34 months. And Schwarma. Got the blindfold ready for today. Actually, do I? I don't know where I put my blindfold. I found it. <laughs> I I do have a blindfold. I guess with any challenger, I'll I'll have the um the chat open, and then that way, I guess if you want any specific opening, or if you want me to play blindfolded, or you want to play prime number chess, I'll I'll be able to see what you want, and I'll likely obey. Okay, let's start with castling here. Oh, welcome back to Andrew Chess. Acting as a, a bot, responding to the time command. I've been live for just over 25 minutes. Wait, you resubbed with Prime, but no notification appeared. Maybe try refreshing. Sometimes you actually have to manually like send the notification. What to do here? Knight h4 is a decent move. I don't want to concede the bishop pair like, too easily.
Ty for the video's smile. Oh, T-Y for the Y-T. You're welcome. Thank you, Ogmog. Hey, it's A1A1A1. Figuring something out. <laughs> Making the Prime sub work. Thank you, Self 5 Music. Yeah, I think there is a small missed opportunity for White. We're now... It's still interesting. Like generally, two bishops are just better than two knights. There was an opportunity for White to play this and then essentially force Rook E8 and then win the pawn. But now the pawn has more... Um, more defenders. I'll play queen e7. I still have to be careful, though. Yeah, because this is now a major threat. I think I'll play knight e8. Kind of passive, waiting for the opportunity to open the C file and try and win a pawn. Maybe F6. F6 looks a little bit ugly, but also interesting. Some E5 ideas. Quack. Welcome back to Cole Allen Music. Why are you streaming so late? My sleep schedule is thrown off a little bit. Was, uh, yeah, I stayed awake like into early this morning to watch the World Championship match. And I still fell asleep during the final game. <laughs> but what to do? In 96 here? Developing, trying to get to some promised land. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate all the prime subs. Okay. Wow. So when I play C4... If white plays bishop a2, the bishop would be stuck forever. I think I'll play knight b8. Okay, let's defend. An attack. How to do this? Play knight a6. Expecting this move. Oh, but I have this move. It's not so easy for white. Maybe threatening b5. Okay, offering the queen trade. So it's still equal material. But the issue for white is this bishop. And I think I'm trapping it. Maybe we'll trade queens a6. Or am I trapping it? Here, here. Okay, there's a funny line. I have this move. I have rook takes. I have knight a8. A discovered attack, putting the knight in the corner. And if takes, takes, the bishop is trapped in the end. 
It's a weird tactic. I don't think knight e8 worked because bishop, I think bishop b7. And yeah, it's important that I can take and defend the rook. Now everything's defended. A knight is hungry. Yeah, there's a line here where I just abandon the e-pawn. Please play king h6. <laughs> that move didn't come to mind. Uh... Yeah, so the idea here is rook f2 is now unstoppable. Wait a minute. Wow. Wait a minute. If I take the rook, takes, it's stalemate. But I have this move. Okay. I'm, I'm safe. Oh, that was really close. It was like a almost cold shower. Like a, a few seconds of cold shower and then hot water started working again. Oh, man. That was really, really close. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking of stalemate ideas because the king seems that, like it has so much room. The pawn and rook can move. H6 was so tricky, though. Good game. <laughs> oh, man. I guess there is another, there is another idea, um, which I guess also doesn't quite work, is to take. And after he takes rook h6. Because if I take with king or pawn, it's stalemate. But here I have king g8. And then this is no longer stalemate because the pawn can move. Okay. GG. Can we play each other? And, and can I play blindfolded? Hi. Also, two times baby. Also quackery. Oh, happy two months. Or 18 months, but two times? Oh, two times baby. Yeah, nine times two. Beals is a dub chess. Okay. I'll uh, I'll take the challenge from Healy, who cheered and subbed. M heals 77. I haven't done blindfold in a while. This is casual, so I'm not risking raiding. Uh, let me just adjust my preferences. Game behavior. Input moves with keyboard. Sound, speech. Speech synthesis ready. Okay. Game start. Oh, my keyboard's a little bit sticky, but it should be okay. I spilled juice on it like a few months ago, and it hasn't fully recovered. Okay. Um, maybe I, I experiment with this layout. I could put chat on screen. Because sometimes I, I won't talk as much, but if this goes on YouTube, YouTube can see Twitch chat. Okay, um, well, good luck to M Heels. And let me make sure, like, this command works. Like three minutes, okay. zero seconds. Beautiful. Like three minutes, zero seconds. Okay. Uh, good luck. Wait, what's your rating? I have no idea what the rating is. <laughs> this is like a, maybe a new account? Okay, good luck. <laughs> Thank you to do. Hello, Eric. What's up? Um, 
Not sure. I can't see above my head anymore. Okay. E4. E4. C6. Knight F3. D5. Knight C3. We're playing the two knights attack. D takes E4. Knight takes E4. Bishop G4. Bishop G4. Okay. Bishop takes F3. Queen takes F3. E6. So far, this is very standard. I think I had this position recently. C3. Play C3. Knight E7. Knight E7. Okay, that's a slightly exotic move. Play D4. D4. Usually the knight goes to F6, or sometimes knight D7, then knight F6. Knight F5, we'll play bishop D3. Bishop D3. Bishop E7. Um, bishop F4. Bishop F4. So, completed development. Not sure which way I want the castle. Short castle. Ooh. Fancy. How about we long castle? Long castle. I'm making things spicy. White two minutes thirty seven seconds. Black two minutes thirty one seconds. Okay. Knight takes d four. Wait, what? C takes d four. Queen takes d. Wow. Where's my tactic? So I want a piece. Mm, maybe h4. h4. Bishop f6. Okay, black's threatening maiden one with queen b2. So let's not get maiden. We'll take the bishop. Knight takes f6 check. Queen takes f6. Oh, I'm struggling to remember. I have a bishop on f4. Okay. Hmm. Queen e4? Queen e4. Now I'm the one threatening mate. g6. H5. H5. Okay. Making some more progress. Rook D8. Mm -hmm. I'll play Bishop E5. Bishop E5. I'm trying to get all the things attacking on the king side. I think we'll probably queen see G5 queen g5 check. check on a four f4 defending and attacking the queen and if queen okay queen g2 i queen I, I take it queen f5 play hg6 h takes g6 so i'm tr trying to calculate fg6 and rook h7 Maybe not quite working. But the position feels very, very nice here. Queen takes e4. Oh. I don't need to take that right away. Or do I? Wait, it's an interesting decision. If I take on h7 with a pawn, there's queen h7. I think I take on f7. So f, or um, g, f7. g takes f7 check. Bishop e4. King takes f7. Bishop takes e4. I think I typed bishop e5 there, which rook could have been a mouse slip. Rook h8. Rook h8. Rook h8. Wait, 
Bishop h8? Bishop takes h8. No mercy. Knight d7. Rook takes h7 check. Really no mercy. King e8. Uh, rook d d7. Rook d takes d7. All the rooks coming in. Rook d8. Rook d8. Bishop g6. Bishop g6 check. King f8. Okay. Good game. Uh, Checkmate. Checkmate. White is that victorious. Was fun. Blindfold 960 next. Blindfold 960 next. Let's go. Okay. Then I I need a, a time control longer than three plus two. At least five plus two. Oh, let me remove the join command. Um, yeah, maybe five plus five for blindfold 960. Rook, rook, rook. Knight takes Wait, let me change this back to normal. I think the, um, the big mistake was taking on D4. Also, do people like do people prefer the chat above my head or is it just too too overwhelming? Maybe I'll just remove it for now. <laughs> but yeah, generally such a sacrifice. Um it only helps white. But um yeah, the main the main idea usually for black is to play knight d7. And then then offer the trade. And after takes takes, this is um, maybe an easier position to play. Sometimes black even castle queen side. Oh, some people like it, some people feel overwhelmed. I do want to experiment with voice recognition. I just don't know how to even experiment with it. <laughs> I'll look into it. I have to find the, um, the explanation video. I mean, one inaccuracy. Engine didn't like castling queenside. Engine wanted to attack even sooner. Okay. Um, so we're getting a few 960 challenges. What did I say? Five plus five? I'm not sure if Shawarma wanted to play me or just wants to see me play blind 960. For those unaware, <laughs> yeah. Chess 960 is when the, um, it's a variant where the pieces on the back row are shuffled. And there's 960 different I have a challenge oh. for five fifths nine hundred and sixty blindfold. I don't see it though. Shawarma. I don't know your username. I'll wait a moment. If I don't get a username, I'll play someone uh, who has a username. <laughs> or I could play the anonymous one, but I, I prefer to play real accounts. Blind duck chess. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't really type my moves in, in chess.com's interface, as far as I know. Um, oh, here it is. Okay. Maybe I just, I was blind. Here we go. Oh, oops. Wait, abort. Sorry. <laughs> I looked at the position. I need to accept the... Um, I need to accept it without looking at the pieces. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Ah. <laughs> I need to change my preference or my sound. Uh, sound. Speech. Speech synthesis ready. And then when I press enter, okay. So we're aborting one more time. And now rematch. And now, okay. Goodbye, world. 
Game start. Okay. So now um, we should have a fresh position. This is 960. It's 5 plus 5. Clock. Wait. White 5 minutes, 0 seconds. Okay. Black 5 minutes, 0 seconds. So I'm pretty sure I'm white. Because of previously aborted game, I was black. But I... And it's 5 plus 5. Okay, so... Yeah, this is tricky because I, I don't actually know the position and I don't have any sight. So it this requires a lot of um like logical thinking. Um I don't even know which move would make sense to start with. Like maybe knight g should I try knight b3? Knight b3? No. Um knight f3? No. What about knight, knight g3? No. Knight c3? No. So I have to have knights on. Wait. Oh, I might have like knights that can move to both squares. Hmm. Knight g. No. Knight f. Let's try knight h g three. Knight h. Yes. Okay. So I have a knight on f one. So there's basically knights on, uh, <laughs> on f one, h one. Knight h g six. And h eight f eight. Okay. So it's copycat. Okay. Now my time is ticking. I still don't know where the other pieces are. Uh, but I have a knight on f one. So maybe I'll play like e3 and e3. hope I have a bishop on f1. <laughs> I could have a bishop on d1 too. Yeah, this is not an easy variant or not an easy thing to do blindfolded. White four minutes, 46 seconds. I don't want to drain too much time Black early on. Four minutes, 41 seconds. F6. F6. So that might imply that there's a bishop on g1, which means that I hope like a2 is not under attack because there, there could be a bishop on g8. I'll play b3, b3 and hopefully get more information from what black does. Yeah, it's so weird to even like conceptualize a position. Like all I know is I have knights on g3, f1. And pawns on e3, b3. E5. What? E5. E5. Okay. Can I try bishop b2? No. Can I try bishop e2? Can I try like f1, e2? No. Bishop e2. No. So where's my lights for a bishop? It can't be. Lights for a bishop can't be on d1, f1, or h1. Oh, so I have a, a lights for a bishop on b1. That's the only other square the lights for a bishop can be on. Hmm. Can I play c4 maybe? C4. I have a bad feeling about this. So I. Five. Wait, what? A5. A5, okay. Um, my king has to be between the rooks. I'll try bishop. No, I've already tried bishop b2. So I'm pretty sure I have a bishop on g1. So where's my queen? Oh, dear.
Play bishop c2. Bishop c2. I'm still trying to figure out the, the other pieces. So not an f1. I have a bad feeling about this famous last words. Oh dear. Why two minutes forty nine seconds? No. Black I've already spent half my time. Seconds. D five. C takes D five. I still don't know where all the pieces are. I guess black has a bishop on b eight. Queen takes d5. Okay, I have a queen on d1. That's good to know. Is g2 hanging? Let's play f3. F3. So I'm assuming I have a bishop on g1. Not confirmed though. A4. A4. Play e4. E4. So my knight's still on f1. I could have a king on c1. Wait, the king... Queen c6. I think the king has to be on c1. Queen c6. Queen c6. Which means I have a rook on e1? Oh, this is terrifying. Uh, B A four, I guess. B takes A four. So I want to castle kingside as quickly as possible. My queen's on C six. Bishop's on B eight. The king is on C eight. I'm assuming. My queen's on d1. e1, I think, is a rook. f1 is still my knight. So casting knight kingside. Oh, so g2 would be hanging. Knight d3 already a threat? I have four. I'm pretty sure knight d3 is a threat. I mean, let's go full like attack mode. D4. So I'm pretty sure g2 is hanging, but I'm trying to. I mean, assuming I'm not getting the position wrong, my queen's on d1 and bishop is on g1, supporting the pawn in d4. Oh, there's probably a rook on a8. Because, yeah, I have to have a rook on a1. So a4 is kind of hanging. White, one minute, 55 seconds. Black two minutes fifteen seconds. Okay. Rook takes a four. Yeah, let's play d five. D five. Knight d three check. Wait, what? Queen d three. Rook takes d three. Wait. I'm so confused. I thought I had queen on d1. So how did black take on d5 earlier? Where's my queen? Queen has to be on e1? I'm so confused. Knight d3 check. Rook takes d3. Was there like a different, was there a pawn move? Queen c4. 
Oh, my queen could be on g1. Because f6 was played. Like queen c4. Which means I have a bishop on e1. I think. Rook c3. Rook c3. So black still has a knight on f8. Wait, wait, wait. Now I was imagining the whole position wrong. What? Queen d4. Queen d4. Another five. Knight f five. Wait, do I have a queen on? I oh no, my queen's on g one. Queen takes g one. Oh no, my queen. Knight d six check. Wait, why is that not checkmate? King d seven. Oh, it's not checkmate. The pawn moved. I thought I was being so clever. Um, knight c4? Knight c4. Wait, this isn't good though. Rook takes uh, c4. You got too fancy. Long castle. Is that not check? Rook takes c3. Oh no. Why is it not check? Bishop e3? No. Bishop c3. Bishop takes there we c3. Go. Ah, something went terribly wrong. So king's on d7. But what's what else is on the D file? Queen takes G two. And when I played D four. Oh, my pawn on D five. Bishop a4 check. C6. D takes C6 check. Still trying. Like, I barely know where anything is. King C7. What? King C7. King C7. C takes B7. Rook takes d1 check. What? Where'd the... Oh, there was a rook on d8. King d1? King takes d1. Bishop takes a4 check. Oh, no. Okay, king c1. King c1. Queen c2 checkmate. Queen takes f1 check. Or not. King b2. Queen b5 check. King a3. King a3. Just finish me already. White 0 minutes 29 seconds. Black 0 minutes 50 seconds. I'm so seconds. sad. Queen c6. b8. My queen c6. Wait, b8, queen. I don't know where the position is anymore. Bishop a5 check. Check. <laughs> King takes b7. Bishop b4. I have no idea where Bishop anything d6. is. Bishop where? Bishop d6. Bishop takes d6. Bishop takes d6. Queen takes d6 check. King takes a4. King b6. A3. Queen d4 check. King b3. King b5, a, 
4 check. Queen takes a 4 check. King c3. Queen a3 check. King d2. King c4. King e2. Do I have pawns on the king side? I don't even know if I have pawns on the side. King f2. Queen b2 check. King g3. F5. There's still like a knight on f8, right? H4. F takes e4. H5. E3. H6. G takes h6. Oh no. King h4. E2. King h5. E1 promotes to queen. King takes h6. Queen g2. King h5. Do. Queen e h1 checkmate. Oh. Checkmate. Black is victorious. I had a pawn on f3. Good game. <laughs> King f3. Oh, that was rough. Queen. Queen. King. Queen. C4. Ah, the pawn moved from d5. I was still when I played knight d6. D5. I was still imagining the pawn on d7. That was a failed oh no my queen. If there was a pawn here, it would be checkmate. <laughs> I was trying to set it up. Yeah, of course I should. I should probably just take the queen and just be happy. Okay, that was fun though. Thank you, Sharma. GG. Yeah, like when, when the queen took the pawn, I just assumed the queen came from d8. So. So for the next several moves, I thought my rook was here and my queen was here. And at some point I realized. So in this position, I typed queen takes d3. But. Uh, it wasn't legal, so then I realized rook takes d3. And that was a free knight. I guess I'm fortunate my knight covered e2, preventing the fork. So I thought my queen was covering e2. Yeah, it's a tough challenge. I was proud of the fact I figured out the bishop was on b1. Because pretty early on, although I guess um, it was based on the assumption the queen was on d1. It was cool with the first move I figured out the knights were here. Because I had to type knight hg3. Oh, thank you, Michael Wijaya. Subbing for the first time. Oh, let me update the TTS command. Very good game. I was bummed you knew where the knights were. I thought I was toast then. Yeah, I was feeling confident, but then I got overconfident. Yeah, E3 is a type of move I would... I would never play like if I knew where these things were, the blocks and knights. Although I knew where the knight was. I guess I was hoping I had a bishop on d1. Thank you, Healy, for the bits. All right, let's go back to normal chess. Unless my opponent wants me to play blindfold or do anything else crazy. But this is a this is a ten minute rapid game. Um I'll play it because I I'd like to cool down. But for future challenges, keep them blitz. Holy smokes. You're also allowed to Challenge to made up positions. Yeah, that's completely fine. All right, Stafford Gambit time. Um, I'll play the line with knight c3 and h3. How about? Yeah, 
Yeah, my opponent is following what I usually like to play. I'll play d3. <laughs> And yeah, white still has to be careful here. I think this is a fine move, bishop g5. Like queen d2, bishop e2. Um, now I have e5. The knight is pinned and attacked. Normally, you like to play h6 against e5, but the pawns can't move backwards. Oh, good night to Manitoba, Mark. Thanks for being here. Good game earlier. Okay, d4. Going for just full control. I'm trying to limit any sort of counterplay. I think it's okay to castle. Always have to be a little bit careful. C5 is actually a great move. Yeah, maybe I wasn't like super careful there. Um, I have an idea though, which I think will keep me safe to play bishop d3 takes and then pawn c4. I'm trying to make it so the pawn just blocks the bishop and the rook. Now, black is getting some play, like despite being down the exchange. All right, let's defend both pawns and attack a pawn. Queen e4, queen f3, and queen f3. Like really just trying to simplify. Yeah, there was a possibility of taking on c4. Then I'd probably take on h5. I still have to be careful of the tactics. I'm trying to figure out how to deal with this threat. Also, thank you, Sir Dexo. Like C5 doesn't really lead to much. Maybe we just trade. And bishop c4, I'll play queen g4. In a position like this, is black's active bishop better than your rook that's passive? Um, but which active bishop? Yeah, it's true the a1 rook is like just kind of sleeping still. It's still in hibernation. But the rook still has much better long-term potential than either bishop, especially with more open files. Like all it takes is one move for the rook to become very useful in supporting the pass pawn. But sometimes there's cases where, especially like earlier in the middle game, minor pieces are sometimes more useful than rooks when there's fewer open files. Oh no, my queen.
Okay, GG. I was actually a little bit concerned here. <laughs> like if I didn't have bishop d3, like the whole center could crumble. Black is like close to getting a lot of compensation. But yeah, things were still controlled. Engine likes d5. Wow. Yeah, I'm doing my best to just get in a, a mix of challenges. Sometimes it's just you're you're left at the mercy of the random challenge algorithm. A lot of people are are patiently waiting. Okay. I have a three two challenge. Casual blitz. Do you think the horsey is a sound gambit? I don't know if the horsey is a gambit at all. It's just a, a majestic creature of some sort. Okay, we have another Karo Khan two knights attack. Queen e2. G6 is not the most like common move. I'll start with bishop c4. I'll go for like some like kind of controlled aggressive play. Maybe I could have played d4, but I didn't want the pawn being a target. A favorite white gambit. I'll have to think about that one. A lot of my white openings aren't like direct gambits. Oh, good night to A1, A1, A1. Catch you next time. Okay. Beginning to smell some tactics. Like G4 or Knight G5. I think Knight G5 and then G4. Like, weirdly, the bishop is basically running out of squares. The combination of the pawn on d3, pawn on g6, and knight on d7, and g4 coming. I'm controlling e6 enough times. Yeah, the Ponziani isn't like a fish egg gambit, but it has kind of the gambit vibes to it. Yeah, h6 would run into knight f7. So this move is basically a double threat. I want to win f7. I want to trap the bishop. There's a line like casting g4 h6. But then I would take. And life should be good. And also, if h6 here, I can take. I mean, I could also take here. Both options look very pleasant. I'll take here first. If pawn takes back, it's made in two. Otherwise, yeah, lax pawns are crumbling. Ooh. Oh, I'll have to play another game against Eric Bot. <laughs> Welcome back, Leo Spaceman. I played the Eric Bot a few times last night. 
and it was uh it was tough i've yet to beat it or draw it how do you come up with moves like knight g5 there um I made the observation, I, I made a couple observations that F7 is a potential target. And I was immediately drawn to G4. I was actually thinking about G4 first as being a direct attacking move. I was calculating G4 takes takes, which was an interesting line. But then I kind of mixed up the move order and saw Knight G5 first. And moves like this should usually be on your, your radar. Like sometimes they don't work because the opponent will have a simple defense and then your piece is misplaced. But other times, if there's a clear follow-up, then they can be very, very effective. And uh, yeah, it's fortunate here that there's multiple threats. I think, yeah, I think white is, so the engine says the only move for black is 95. Which is actually very nice, attacking and covering g4 and defending f7. Huge multi-purpose move. Are there any gambits in the English? Um, yeah, there is a an English line. I've played a handful of times. It emerges from the three knights. And then if black plays g6 here, there's a, a cool line white can play. And I would call it a, a temporary gambit. The move being d4. I played this five times on me chess. And the gambit comes after pawn takes pawn. The main move is knight takes d4, but the cool move, a gambit move is knight d5. And there's a really cool variation here. Let's assume bishop g7. Bishop g5. And okay, more people play f6. And then white's doing quite well after this. And then can regain the pawn. But there's a cool line if knight g7, white can take on d4, which looks unplayable. But if knight takes, then we trap the queen. And if bishop takes, it's even more fun because queen takes d4. Oh no, my queen. And then knight f6, king f8, bishop h6, checkmate. And this position actually happened between two super grandmasters. Andraken against Karyakin. Karyakin ended up losing in like within 12 moves. He castled here. And then there's another queen sack line. Knight f6 check. If king g7, we double check. King g8, queen g7 checkmate. So king h8 is the best try. And then Andraken here played knight g4. And I believe this is forced mate. This is another oh no my queen. But bishop f6, king g8, knight h6 checkmate. So multiple lines with, oh no, my queen. Oh no, my queen. <laughs> Thank you, Gabriel. Yeah, and to show if f6, it doesn't really make things any better. Knight h6 mate is still coming in this line as well. So it's a cool line. Um, and then recently there's been a trendy gambit for black against English in this position to play e4. And then after knight g5, there's actually a couple of gambits here. Like if you're playing black, there's a move b5. This is uh, the Bellin gambit named after Anna Kramling's dad. But then there's also this gambit, which I don't think has a name yet, but it's been super trendy among like top GMs. The idea being takes, 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 and then d5, takes, takes, knight g3, h5. And theory is still developing here. Okay, let's play a few more games. Okay, playing Soham. 
of casual blitz. I'll play e5. What's your best title Tuesday result? I'm not actually sure. Um, I think it's seven and a half. I don't think I've ever scored eight. So we have a four knights. This is a four knight scotch. I think I'll play the main line. There was an opportunity for white to play the Belgrade gambit. With, um, it's actually kind of similar to the gambit I just showed in English, but uh, not happening here. And no Halloween gambit either. I'll play a check Pierce. Maybe someday. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll mix up the openings for the next game. But we're still following like pretty standard theory here. Pretty sure the main line is takes. Okay, castling. I think I can win a pawn. And takes, takes. There's a moves I take and then castle. This might still be equal though. White, white is probably doing fine. I'm up a pawn, but White has a bishop here. I have a lot of weak pawns. Yeah, I'm losing c7, actually, unless I want to play this sad move. Which maybe... Maybe it's not so crazy. But maybe it is. I'm also considering there's a weird line. Bishop e6 takes, takes, takes knight, knight d5. Bishop e5, rook f5, bishop d4, c5, takes, takes. And I'm hitting the rook and the bishop in the end. Just because there's a small trap at the very end there, I'm going for this. It might not work out, and this is, this is probably very bad for me positionally, but um, at least I have an idea. I feel like the line is pretty natural for white to stumble into. Okay, with rook b1, I now have knight d5. And my two sets of double isolated pawns, they look a little bit funny, but this knight looks ultra powerful, hitting this and this. I guess this move might be coming. I'll play rook f5. I'm going for the double up. Why not bishop b5? Um, not sure if there's ever a point where bishop b5 was a playable move. Okay, going after the c-pawn. All right, I guess we're trading Z-pawns. So 
Oh, Bishop C7, Rook F8. Now I have this um this battery. And Rook F1 is met with a fork. So still trying to be active. Was the bishop hanging? No, oh, the bishop was hanging. <laughs> I missed it. Okay, but this pawn is hanging. It's probably a sign that I need some some rest. I'm missing the board. All right, what to do? Okay, I found a free bishop. One out of two this game for free bishops. Okay, GG. <sighs> I should probably get some rest. Let's do one more game. Some question about a sandwich. I'd probably prefer having a sandwich. Oh, Michael, Michael Juijawa, however I say her name, uh, was a new sub. I'm getting a challenge from it. I am too. Wait, this looks interesting. Let's play this first. Chess with no pieces. <laughs> Only pawns. Wow. Um, I could try and play a London, but I don't have any London bishop to develop. E4 has got to be a fine move. King E2. I mean, the bond cloud in this variant, I think, is a very like, reasonable opening. Got the king involved. Delayed center game. I'd imagine perfect play should lead to a draw. Okay, I'm already feeling like pretty good about this because I'm going to have f4 with tempo. I'll get the king in. That still is probably close to a draw. Oh yeah, c5 is coming. Maybe a4. B6. Maybe I should play b4 first. Okay, I'm trying to like just gain space and then eventually put black in Zugzwang. F5 is reasonable. Oh, e5 would be interesting. Takes, takes. Probably not good for me, though. How about c5 here? Or uh, c4 here. With more time, I could probably like calculate a lot more, but so far I'm relying more on just intuition. Just kind of general understanding, like trying to gain space. Wow. A5. So if I take, Now I basically have two tempi moves. I 
What is Black trying to do? Play C5? It might turn into a waiting game, but I mean, visually this looks interesting. It still feels like I'm playing for something more than just a draw. Let's actually play this first. I'm realizing there's this move though. Okay. It's king e3. e3, g5. I'm still not 100% sure what's going on here. So G5 Always glad to be back another month. How about that final game between Ding and Nepo? Yeah, it was crazy. All our games were crazy. Okay, so if ever G4, then I have a guaranteed defended pass pawn, and that will be winning. But we get into this waiting game. Hmm. I think it's winning for white, though. Because what's end up what's going to happen is I'm going to have a pass pawn on the king side. Like that pawn is going to be passed at some point after the trade of these pawns. And then, as a bonus, yeah, I'll just get the king to e4. This is uh, basically perpetual Zugzwang for black. I'm not sure when, where the like final mistake was, but something went wrong at some point. <laughs> Have you ever used a notes function on me chess? Yeah, sometimes I'll right click and then click emoji and then make some emojis. Wait, I have to be careful still. If I play this, there's some d5. Let's start with this. I think a3 is a useful move. Wait. Or this. Here it takes... I guess f5. I could take there first. I just don't want to give back any chances. Okay. Because, yeah, once the king moves back, then I take, and then it's extra tempo. Eventually can break through. So I'm curious. Hey, I kept my note. At what point did it go wrong for black? Like, the engine's still useful here. Engine says d5, wow. ED4 or g5. Yeah, c6 already like gave me a more comfortable spot. Yeah, I guess a5 was maybe the point of no return. And then the situation worked out nicely. Okay, I'll place her Dexo, another new sub. Okay, good luck. And then I'll play uh, Michael Wijaya. 
doing my best to take it one game at a time. Okay. Might as well play a London. Welcome back to Christian Gionj. Uh, let's play this. An annoying mouse. MWK Arigato. Arigato. I still want to go to Japan someday. Do you prefer being called Eric or Rosen? Either one is fine. I think it's probably more standard to call me Eric. Yeah, maybe I'll have to end the stream by playing the the Eric bot. Had some fun games yesterday. What do I want to do in Japan? Probably just have some green tea, some sushi. Um, yeah, walk around. And see the nature. There's an island in Japan called Bunny Island. Like a lot of like just bunnies. But supposedly it's uh, maybe a little bit controversial, but it looks like a cool place. Yeah, have some ramen. Harry Augie, today I played my first OTB tournament since I was a kid. Well, that's that's nice to hear. Yeah, I know a lot of people who like play online these days are looking to maybe play more actively OTV. OTB stands for over the board. It's like the real life. You use a physical chessboard three-dimensional pieces so i'm actually planning to play an over-the-board event in vegas right before the vegas chess festival like a very strong invitational tournament and i essentially confirmed it today and then after the tournament there's a national open which i won't be playing in but I'll be doing at least one simul, maybe two simuls at. We do have the Vegas command. If there's anyone in the US or elsewhere that wants to play a, a real life event. Yeah, I'm very thankful for en passant there. Queen H2. Just yeah, anticipating G5. Can we play you in person if we go? Yes. Yeah, I'll be giving a simul. It there should be enough openings to, to get in. I'll also be doing blitz challenges with people. Should be a lot of fun stuff. Will I be blindfolded? Most of the time, no. Also, did I just blunder? I kind of just blundered.
Mm -hmm. It's a tricky move, F4. Because now I can take. Not sure about this, though. But I do win back the piece. I think it's okay. Okay, I'm giving a take back. Yeah, rook t8 was an obvious mouse slip. That was a very confusing position to understand. Like I'm debating between rook d2 and rook g7, or even rook d6 first. I guess I should play this first. Take rook h2, f5. It's really not so clear, though. If I take... Yeah, this is the way to go. It's a safer option. Look at these pawns. Some interesting pawn sandwich. Oh, what's the controversy about Bunny Island in Japan? Um, I watched a few videos on it like over a year ago. I think the bunnies survive based on like tourists and yeah, there's some issue with maybe overpopulation. I'm not entirely sure though. Okay. So if I play this, uh, let's defend. Wow. Okay, let's repeat. Yeah, I think I'm fortunate to have this move, winning the G-Pawn. So up a pawn, but still not like a super easy win. Or maybe it will be straightforward. Okay, so the idea is to chase the king back to one of these squares. Um, and c4 will do that. Okay, good fight though. Yeah, I kind of um, forgot about h4. Like once I played queen h2, I stopped worrying about my bishop getting trapped. And then they got trapped. But I was fortunate to have this uh, this trick, like pawn f4. Like maybe on Poisson is a way to go. Not sure though. Yeah, always on Poisson. So ef3 apparently is winning. But why? Yeah, this doesn't make so much sense. I guess... Uh, the point is after takes, there's knight c5, and, and knight d3 is very strong. Wasn't super obvious, though. Yeah, good fight. Okay, I'll play... I'll play Michael. There's a new sub. We have normal chess. Um, 
Hey, it's Danya. What's up, Danya? I heard you Rosen trap someone. Someone was saying you you got some funny stalemate trap. Wait, is this a move? I think this is a move. It's a center fork trick. Yeah, if you're just joining, I'm playing people, keeping it chill, trying to answer questions. Someone got rosed. That makes me happy. Yeah, big shout out to, I think we have a Danya command, a fellow nocturnal streamer. So this sequence, like knight takes e5 and then d4, is um, it's a classic theme in a lot of openings, especially in like e4, e5 games. And I guess in this case, I'm going to be winning a pawn. Do I want to trade queens? I'll trade queens. What's your upcoming OTB tournament? Um, yeah, we have the Vegas command. I'll have to actually modify the command because um, I'm I'm going to two separate events in Vegas. They're at the same hotel. The first event is uh, it's an invitational Swiss tournament featuring a lot of strong grandmasters. I'll probably be like 20 or 30th seed. And then National Open, it's for all levels. If you're a chess player in the US or, or abroad, if you want to come to Vegas in June, um, it's a cool event. There's a lot of side events. I'll be giving a simul, I'll be doing like, uh, I wanted to say viewer challenges, but I'll be doing um, just blitz challenges with people. Okay, let's not get forked. Oh, I missed a fork. I'm trying to checkmate though. I'm not interested in consuming more. Going straight for dessert. Hunter Wiz, thanks for the raid. Like back to back raids. I do appreciate it. Shout out to Hunter Wiz. Less than three. Getting some late night energy. I appreciate the love. Wait, this knight is is trapped. I don't think I realized that when I played H3. So I just have to move the bishop somewhere. And yeah, the knight will be lost momentarily. We might see a5. I was thinking about ending the stream soon because I'm getting tired. It's been a long day. But I, I feel like I have to play like at least one more game. Maybe I'll play the the, uh, the Eric bot. Try and get revenge. Wow, the knight found a square. Okay, other things are falling though. It's 1 a.m. for me. It's past my bedtime. Uh, let's play this move. Knight d5 incoming. Yeah, it's already Monday. It's still Wednesday on the, the West Coast. Or it's not, what am I saying? It's still Sunday on the West Coast. It's a sign that I need sleep. And really no mercy here. Yeah, generally, 
I guess with the three knights, you're supposed to make it four knights. And then the funny thing is, if I play bishop c4 here, which I wasn't going to do, then black can do the center four trick. And another example of giving up the knight in the center, but winning back material and taking over the center. And this is considered to be pretty nice for black. Hey, Eric, I'm 1800 ELO in real life, and I started to play King's Indian defense, but I really struggle against E4. I don't like Pierce. Do you have any recommendations with similar structures as King's Indian? Eric Rosen promised me he'd never sleep again and play perfect chess. Thanks, Eric. Oh, yeah. I might have to break the promise. Maybe just a few times. Yeah, if you if you want to play something related to King's Indian against e4, and you don't want to play the Pirates, I mean, there's a modern which is very similar to Pirates, but play a Sicilian Dragon. It's a bit more active. You can choose between Mainline or Accelerated, or Hyper Accelerated. Um, maybe I would recommend Accelerated. Like at the 1800 level, I feel like it has a bit more punch to it. And it goes takes, takes, and then g6. And then vision g7, and you're not going to get the same like space deficit that you would from a Pierce, because you've already removed the pawn, and you have, still have your two center pawns. Um, now, there are unique ideas to this opening. Like Sometimes you go for a d5 break. There's lines with queen a5 or queen b6. But in general, it's, uh, it's a pleasant line for black. And it's still played at like top GM level too. Hey, it's Lexi. Appreciate the hype. And Hunter Wiz gifting to Rutson. And Aryan with the Prime sub. M Dog Ification. Thanks for the the sub. And the mention about my promise. Can I play like a custom position? Like, what is this? Let's play this. This looks fun. Black has normal pieces. I have randomly fiend-kettled knights. <laughs> so, technically, black is up material here. But I have the bishop... Not the bishop pair. I have three and a half bishop pairs. <laughs> Oh, what is this? Bishop Septuplet. This looks like too much fun. Um, I should probably value my knights, right? My knights should come to the center. I'm scared about this move. But there's really no reason to be scared. What is this? This knight's really misplaced. Why is it on b2? Let's play this move. I might play knight e5. Maybe we'll trade off a pair of knights. I unleash the bishop too. So bishop e7, I win the pawn and the rook. If knight e7, it's made in one, but that's not happening. Oh, so it was five bishops for queen and two rooks. Interesting. So one thing about bishops, it would be terrible for me to trade off all my lights for bishops. Like, there's a big difference between having four bishops of the same color and having four bishops, two of each color. So we just have to be cognizant. Also, this is going really well now. I didn't even see... I could have taken the pawn the previous move. I was just too overwhelmed with all my bishops. 
All right, d4 perhaps? No, d4 hangs a bishop though. Queen a5 check. Let's play knight c4. There's a lot to like consider here. Play bishop a4. I like the fact that the bishop is... like These two bishops are taking away the potential squares from the king. Can I not castle? I probably can't castle with my bishop on h1. Maybe it's worth trying. Let's play bishop f3 creating the battery. I want to play something like this. Also probably still want to play d4. Like every single thing in my position is defended now. Yeah, it feels so weird having um a double bishop battery. I have two bishop batteries, arguably three. All right, bishop a3. Yeah, the bishops are coming out of hibernation, like very gradually. It's like a minefield of hungry bears. Springtime is upon us. There goes Black's queen. Mm -hmm. Don't mess. Yeah, so king takes bishop. I'd want to play e5. Black doesn't take. All right, so let's move back. I'm just realizing <laughs> I have one dark square bishop left. What happened to my other dark square bishops? Are we trading it off? I guess I have to trade it off. What happened to all my darks for bishops? I only started with three. Oh, I started with three darks for bishops. Oh, but black doesn't take the final one. Okay, so I have five bishops for two rooks. A few extra pawns as well. But, I mean, four lights for bishops can only do so much. It would be really smart for black to try and get rid of my final darks for bishop. Like, I don't think I want to take the rook. Even though, yeah, that would still be winning. I'd rather keep it on the board. Okay. <laughs> GG. Oh, that was enjoyable. Okay. I think we're approaching the end, but I don't want to end the stream without playing my new arch nemesis, Eric Bot. I'm going to challenge three plus two. This is a bot that's designed to play like me, at least in the opening. It has studied all of my my games online and knows my you whole opening tree with your bishops oh yeah i missed an opportunity there and we're gonna go into a stafford gambit <laughs> i played it a few times yesterday it kept crushing me in the stafford even though i thought i knew what i was doing let's play a slightly different line this time let's play d3 which I did play yesterday, but then I'm going to play bishop e2, h5, 
And I know it's coming because I play this as black. And I'll play h3. It's going to play queen d4. Knight castle. And it's going to play this. I play this. And it plays this. And now here, of course, there's a mate threat. It's not good to take because takes and then there's still issues. G3 gets mated, but there's a move E5. And this is supposed to be good, but I don't know if I've seen this move before. Queen G6. Can I take it? Is it bluffing? Maybe maybe d4. I should probably play d4. No need to like mess with it too much. It takes takes. I actually don't see like the the defense. <laughs> I really want to call its bluff. Wow. Play like a four? Maybe bishop here. Bishop d3. So the knight stays hanging. The queen's attacked. Can take. Can I get away with taking? I think I can. Takes and then rookie one. I'm nervous though. Also, my time is ticking. Why did I challenge it to blitz? Rookie one. Oh, it's so so risky though. Let's play this. Let's be safe. Still taking the knight doesn't seem to be working. In queen f3. There is an increment here, so at some point I might have to live on the increment. Okay, that's some success. We can trade queens. C5 might be coming. I have to be careful. Yeah, it sometimes talks. I think it says this at the beginning of every game. Okay, A3. It's basically playing like Stockfish now. Like Now that it's out of the opening. I like the fact I have the A file, 94, some idea, knight C5. Bishop D2, safer. I really just want to simplify. I'm scared of this idea, though. Maybe I should have played bishop E3. Prepare c4. That's going to do things with its king. I have like g4. Oh dear. Running low on time. King d5, I think, is coming. That's insane how it's just like, it, it's controlling the position, even though I'm up a pawn, I have the pawn center. A 
There's no more knight c5. B6 was a great move. Okay, I think I'm still holding on. But I feel like the tides are turning. Okay. Hmm. Some tension remains. Don't hurt me. Wow, King E4. Is my whole position about to crumble? I have this move. Because King takes, I had the fork. Trying to live on the increment and not die on the increment. So here I have this move. Otherwise, knight g2. That's terrifying, though. It's contemplating. It takes, takes. I, I think I'm on the verge of losing, but I might be close to drawing. I don't know what's happening. I have to take. I mean, this is a huge success to have survived what seemed to be a, a very difficult spot. But my knight is stuck. Wait, how do I get my knight out of here? I'm completely stuck. I have like g5, g4? G5 soon. It's also getting low on time. Okay, G5 coming. Knight F6 is guaranteed. Once I get Knight F6, I escape. And this should be a draw now. Let's go. Okay. Oh, wow. Someone call an ambulance, but not for either of us. Okay. Wow. I really thought I was losing at some point, though. But somehow, like, it, it went wrong. Yeah, this position, the, the position is dead lost. But where did it go wrong? King d4. Yeah, king d4 was like a slightly strange move. I should have challenged it to raid it. Could have farmed it a little bit. It makes the same blunders as me. Yeah, maybe uh, the programming has been refined uh mess up end games. I do struggle with converting winning positions sometimes. And I I I follow the rule always play F6. Yeah, so it made two like very bad moves in a row. King F5 is completely winning cuz like here here. But how does black actually win? I guess just wins all the pawns. Like I, I can't even move. Um, if I wait with my king, h3 falls. And I guess once I 
get to play g5, it's too late. Because knight f6 takes, takes here, 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 here. And this is a wing king pawn ending. What a game. I did have the opening advantage. D4 plus almost four. But look at the graph. Like it gradually outplayed me from a bad position. <laughs> and what was this moment? I was still better if I played knight c5. All right, well, that was fun. This is my first non-loss against Eric Bott. Um, I'll have to maybe do a series where I I play against this bot. Most of our games have been Stafford Gambits. Um, I just go... How many times have we played? I've played it in four games. Three losses, one draw. Yeah, big shout out to Leo, who is uh, the creator of the bot, probably based in Australia. But um, is it playing a game right now? Yeah, anyone can challenge it. Oh, it just played a game. Oh, that's funny. It played this line. Ah, <laughs> this is the line I like to play. After takes, takes, uh, there could be four queens in the first, like, eight moves. Anyway, um, I'm going to wrap things up. It's been a long day. I need some sleep. Uh, thanks again, everyone tuning in. Appreciate the people who came from the raids and stayed to enjoy the action. I'll go ahead and send a raid to another late night chess streamer. Looks like they're doing puzzle babble right now. Sending it to Nanime. Or Nanimi? I forget how to pronounce the name. But very chill. I send some good vibes. I do have a Discord server, XLAM Discord. We don't have a, a great system for like game review submissions, but something I might try and set up in the future. I also want to do another um yeah, another game versus chat where chat can vote on the moves. Have to figure out how to set that up. But anyway, um, I'll be back maybe tomorrow. Definitely Tuesday for Title Tuesday. So stay tuned and see you guys soon.